Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. If you guys haven't been here before, my name is Jesse. I'm an amateur boxer from South Australia and I'm recording my whole journey of me getting back into the ring. And tomorrow is actually gonna be the first type of official step of getting back into the ring, as in fighting again. So tomorrow I'm heading down to Adelaide and we've got competition sparring. If you guys don't know what competition sparring is, it's basically the exact same rules as an amateur boxing fight. It's three three minute rounds for me. The weigh-in, it's not as strict as a normal weigh-in. I'm sparring at 75 kilos, you get matched up with an opponent and there's a referee that stands in the ring as well to watch over the fighters because basically you're going as hard as you can in the sparring. You treat it like it's a normal fight, but in this situation for this competition spa, there is no outcome of a winner or loser. So there's no winner or loser, it's just experience. On the day, we can try to get more matchups with people. Um, if coaches want to organize that, then we can get more matchups and have more competition spars. It's just something small that we're doing since we're not allowed to have a proper competition with a venue yet. This is what Boxing South Australia is organized for the moment. I'm very happy to be a part of it. We've already been sent out our matchup cards. I matched up with a man called Matt Stevens. If you guys don't know who Matt Stevens is, he's actually a very good professional kickboxer. So he's had many, many fights. He's fought on Glory recently. Plenty of professional kickboxing fights. Very well known in the city of Adelaide, but I think he's decided to come over to amateur boxing. Most likely just to work on his hands. And it's pretty cool that I've been matched up with him for some sparring, so we're gonna get in three three minute rounds. You're good. You've gotta get into your uniform as well and everything like that. You've gotta get into red corner and the blue corner. It's 12 ounce gloves, so it's gonna be exciting and I'm keen to take you guys along with me. I'm just sipping on a coffee now. Right now, I'm about to head on a 6K run. Just a very light 6K run. It's loosening up the body. Then me and my coach Justin later on have a session around two o'clock where we're just gonna be doing some pad work, just some light work, which I'll take you guys along and show you guys throughout my day before the competition sparring. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to be taking you guys on the journey. We're getting up nice and early, driving down to Adelaide, which is about a four hour drive. Basically getting out of the car and jumping in the ring. So I'm gonna take you guys along that process and show you what happens. Finish this coffee, head on that 6K run, uh, and I'll see you guys then. All right, we just finished up 6K. There's about six and a half Ks in the bank right there. Just a nice, easy pace run, very slow, just to loosen up the legs a little bit. A little bit congested in my nose and everything in my throat, making it a little bit harder to breathe, but by the end of it, I was feeling pretty good. Airways are cleared up a little bit, which is good. Gonna go inside now, probably have another coffee, fuel up a little bit, and then get ready for training later on. All right, so we've got our coffee made up. We're just chilling out in the spa right now. Letting the legs and muscles recover a little bit, just keeping the body nice and relaxed. Got some water on deck because I don't want to be doing too much sweating because I only weighed in this morning at 73.8 and I'm fighting at 75. So the dude that I'm sparring, I'm pretty sure he's cutting down uh, closer to 75, so he's going to be a bit heavier. Weight fluctuates so much, so I'm still trying to be very cautious with it. But I'm still going to be keeping hydrated throughout the whole day, make sure I'm keeping hydrated tomorrow on the car ride. And yeah, not stressing about weight too much, but just keeping an eye on it. So I'm going to sit in here for a while sip of my coffee. Um, I'm gonna have breakfast a little bit later on. I'm doing sort of like intermittent fasting. I'm just pushing my first meal back pretty far so then I can eat more meals closer together, which will fill me up a little bit more since I am eating a tiny little bit less. Um, not too much though. Let me show you guys all my meals as well. Um, show you everything that I'm eating just to keep my weight on track. I'll keep you guys updated throughout the day. So for the first meal of today is a pretty weird meal to have for my very first meal of the day, I reckon, but I've been doing it for the last three days just because I've been pushing my meals back. So I haven't really been feeling like my big bowl of oats to start my morning. Instead, I've been having chicken and vegetables. Today, I'm having this coconut and pumpkin soup. These things are absolutely amazing. 300 calories for the whole bag. And with that, I've just been heating up a bunch of vegetables. So I've got a huge container of vegetables. And there is gonna be our first meal of the day. Just put the soup in the microwave for a few minutes, chuck the cooked veggies in there. Gonna to top it off with a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. And that is going to be our meal. Second lot of breakfast is going down. We've got 150 grams of 0.5% fat Greek yogurt. What I've just chucked in there is some casing, some frozen berries crushed up into there. So I'm gonna have that and a beer to end off breakfast. But if you guys are curious of what I'm taking for supplements, every morning after breakfast, I have one men's alpha mighty vitamin, two capsules at fish oils to get those healthy fats in, two zinc tablets plus vitamin C. Usually before breakfast, I will have two apple cider vinegar golly gummies. So that is all the supplements that I'm taking right now. Coming up to 1.30 now, I'm gonna have my pre-workout meal. So I've just got a cup of oats here with some salted caramel whey protein in there, some cacao powder and some cinnamon. And then we've got a coffee going down. So I'm really just trying to base all my carbs around my workouts. So I'm actually going to boxing training at two, just in a very light session again, just to loosen up. Putting all my carbs around my workouts and then I'll probably have a bowl of oats before I go to bed also. So I'm gonna sit here, enjoy this, and I'll see you guys at training.
That is the last session before the competition sparring done. Very good session, nice and light, nice and easy. We ended up doing a fair few rounds actually. We did like 11, 11 two minute rounds, focused on keeping it nice and loose, getting that head movement going. Justin gave me a bit of a massage on my back and my shoulder, just to keep everything nice and loose. Gonna head home now, fuel up a little bit, get some food in me, um, and then just relax for the rest of the night. Got an early night, because we got a big start tomorrow morning. We've got a big day. I'll catch you guys at home. Hey, so I've just rocked up at home, and we've got two exciting things to go through. First of all, I went to the shops and I picked up some groceries, just a few things for tomorrow, so I'm gonna go through that. And then also what we've got here is a huge My Protein parcel um, that I ordered a couple weeks ago. It's come here very quick this time, so I'm gonna unbox that for you guys and show you what we got in there. First off, we'll go through some groceries. We picked up, this is just for after the fight, because I'm planning on having a big bowl of granola because I've been craving it. So we've got some low sugar granola. Also for after and probably just before, we've got some honey covered cashews. These are absolutely delicious. Another craving that I've been having. We've got two Cliff Bars, have these before I go out there. They're just some simple carbs, nice and easy to digest. Have that before I get into the ring. Some more easy carbs, we've got some Nature Valley Granola Bars. These are absolutely delicious. Have some of those probably snack after I weigh in. Got some more Greek yogurt just for tonight. Got another oat slice bar. Gotta make sure we have lots of electrolytes going into tomorrow. So we've got two electrolyte waters here. These are the Powerade active waters. And then we've got some more frozen veg. That is everything that we picked up. All right, now getting into this protein parcel right here. Every time I get something. All right. We've got another lot of men's alpha multivitamins. We've got some electrolyte plus tablets. See, I wanted to try these because I knew I wasn't getting enough electrolytes during my trainings. Um, so I thought getting electrolyte plus tablets would be uh, easy just to take in the morning. So I've got some of those. Some staple toffee flavor drops. We've got some vanilla flavor drops. We've got some calcium and magnesium. I've been meaning to get some of this and I thought I might as well get some while I was on there. A big ass bag of whey isolate. One of you guys let me know that whey isolate is the cleanest form of whey protein. I know it's the fastest digesting uh, form of whey. So I picked up some of that. Got some more mocha flavor drops. Butter biscuit flavor drops. Then we've got a huge bag of natural chocolate whey protein. This is a five kilo bag, which is absolutely massive. And then also had to pick up some more creatine. So that is everything that I've ordered. It is the whole my protein pickup. I'm so stoked that I got a five kilo bag of whey because I run out of that stuff so quick. All the vitamins, flavor drops, creatine. And I'm keen to try out this whey isolate. So that is the whole order. Time to get some food in me.
It doesn't look too appetizing, but what it is is just a bunch of chicken and a bunch of vegetables, like a lot of vegetables. Got some vegan barbecue sauce on there, and that is going to be dinner. Last bit of fuel going down before bed. I did actually just have a big bowl of oats also with some whey protein in there. But this is just another 150 grams of Greek yogurt with some casein, some berries in there also. So I have this before I go to bed. It's pretty early. It's 6.37, but I'm going to get an early night, and I want my food to digest because I am getting up a lot earlier than usual. So I'm gonna get this into me and I'll see you guys in the morning ready for sparring day. First bar starts in about five minutes. I've just been snacking on some honey cubby cashews. One power right in. I've had a few of these Nature Valley Crunch bars and a few oat slice bars that I've gone through. So just fueling up now, getting ready to get in there and uh, have some fun. Yeah. 
Just finished up the competition sparring. It was actually a very, very knowledgeable spar. So the dude I fought, as I said, is more well-known in the kickboxing. And you could see that with that, the way he was fighting. I was definitely a lot more on my toes than he was. He definitely sat down on his punches a lot more than I did. He had the heaviest shots. But it was a very beneficial spar, I'd say. Absolutely awesome dude. Great dude to spar with. And that was probably perfect for a little entry back into the ring. To get that feel of being back in there was absolutely awesome. I'd say... I'm very happy with how I performed. I did practice a lot of things. I definitely could sharpen up on a few areas of my punches. I've got to work on a little bit of that defense because he kept snagging me with that right hand. Other than that, an absolutely amazing spa. Definitely worth it. The boys are warming up right now. There's somewhere over there. One of our boys has another fight coming up. We've got another one of our boys on the very last card. We're going to be sticking around here for a little bit longer then making our way home. So it's going to be a bit of a drive. Get some good fuel after this and then I'll see you guys then. Alright people, so it is a few days since the competition sparring. I've had time to go over the footage and uh, watch it over a few times. There's definitely a lot of improvements that I can see that I need to make. I was very flat footed in that fight. See, I wasn't engaging too much because I could tell that he was waiting for me to come onto his punches. So I really wasn't trying to play his game and I do back off a fair bit and start moving around. I was consciously thinking of that as I was in my sparring. I did have plenty of time to try new things. I was trying to do a lot of trick and fainting. Um, that's one thing that I really want to improve on. And really all around just like my sharpness, my punch placement. Really got to practice my defense and getting out of the way of that right hand and just timing everything. So timing was another massive thing that I noticed that I need to really switch on. Other than that, I'm very happy with how everything went. It was a very awesome day. It was really good to get that fight feeling back. Had those little bit of nerves before you get into the ring. It had that same sort of feel, which, which I believe is really beneficial. It's going to be that little bit easier next time getting into the ring. That lit just a little bit of a spark and that hunger to fight again. So I'm very excited to be back in that ring and I can't wait for the next time we do our competition sparring. I think we have a few more competition spars and then we have the actual fight night, which I'm really looking forward to. So a lot of stuff to work on and we will get there. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe and support the channel if you are new and join the journey. And I will see you guys in the next Road to the Ring. Adios.